Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNA video boot camp here for you. A quick quiz actually. And we're working with access lists again. And this is something, a uh, scenario that used to drive me nuts when I started studying. So I'm going to make sure that it does not do the same thing to you. Let's head right for today's question. Generally speaking, where should you place standard ACLs in your network as compared to where you place extended ACLs? A. Place all ACLs as close to the source of traffic as possible because this prevents unnecessary traffic from going across WANs. B. Place standard ACLs as close to the source as possible. Extended ACLs should go as close to the destination as possible. C. Place extended ACLs as close to the source as you can. Standard ACLs should go as close to the destination as possible. And then finally, place all ACLs as close to the destination as possible to avoid blocking traffic that should go through. A couple of those sound pretty good, right? Well, we're going to get you absolutely straight on that in just a moment. And just a quick word again, thank you so much for making me the number one instructor on Udemy.com, the world leader in online education. And part of that uh, number one ranking is that I've got almost 2,000 people in my CCNA 2012 video boot camp, and you definitely want to be a part of this. All you've got to do is put in Bulldog60 for the coupon code, click apply, and you get over 22 hours of my world-class CCNA training for $44. It's $2 an hour. You cannot beat this deal, so make sure to go out and take advantage of it at Udemy.com. Now, let's take a look at this question, because a couple of these sound really good, right? Well, you put all your ACLs as close to the source of traffic as possible, because that prevents traffic from going across the WAN that would be blocked anyway. And then choice D sounds pretty good because you think, well, you know, that would avoid blocking traffic that should be allowed to go through. Well, the, the catch here is the rule with standard ACLs because there's only one factor that standard ACLs match on. You remember what that is? Got to know this. It's the source IP address. However, if you're using, using an extended ACL, then you can match on the source and destination IP addresses. You have other options, but those two are required. And that's where the real difference comes in. Because if it sounds good to you that we would block traffic as soon as possible, with extended ACLs, that's a great idea. And I would apply an extended ACL to an incoming interface at the point closest to the host. So if we're sending from this PC to this server, We've got a wide area network in the middle. We can use an extended ACL to exactly identify the traffic that should be blocked, should be permitted, and everything's going to be fine. The problem with standard ACLs is that you can only match on that source IP address. I know it's very small. Let me bring that up in size. That's why if you are made to use standard ACLs, you need to apply a standard ACL to the interface closest to the device that should not receive traffic from that source. So not only would I put a standard ACL on the other side of the WAN, I would put it on the interface that's actually closest or facing, if you will, uh, that server. And let's walk through that real quick. If this, IP, if this uh, server, excuse me, if this PC had an IP address of 2111 and you're using a standard ACL, Again, my first thought used to be, well, you put it on this interface, you put it on the interface closest to that uh, sending host. That way the unnecessary traffic doesn't go across the wide area network. The problem is, if you put a standard ACL here, blocking traffic sourced from 2111, it blocks everything sourced from 2111. That's probably not what you want to do. That's why, again, if you're using a standard ACL, put it on the interface closest to the device that should not receive traffic from that source. And if you're using an extended ACL, which you hope you are, since that lets you define the traffic better source and destination IP address, you can put that at the incoming interface at the point closest to the host. That way the traffic's not going across the wide area network. So out of these, the correct answer is actually C. Again, one more time, it bears repeating. Put your extended ACLs as close to the source of the traffic as possible. Standard ACL should go as close to the destination as possible. Thanks for taking today's CCNA Quick Quiz. I'm Chris Bryant, and thanks for making TBA part of your CCNA success story.